Welcome to the homework for Lesson 17, Module 6 of 2nd Grade. Get your name on here first, please. That way you won't have to worry about remembering it at the end. Draw to double the group you see. Complete the sentences and write an addition equation. So that means if we're doubling it, then we're going to copy it so that there'll be twice as many of them. So like here we have two stars, and if I copy them here in this other group, now I have twice as many stars. That's what doubling is. There are two stars in each group. Two for the first group, two for the one I drew, four stars. And we're going to get to even and odd. And uh, this is doubling is an important thing to think about for even and odd. There are, let's see, we need four stars in each group. And that's two fours. And doubles, right? We call them doubles. This is what doubles are. So four plus four, eight. And we have one star in each group. One plus one is two. There are three stars in each group. Three plus three is six. That, you know, if you know your doubles facts, that's what we're talking about. And we have five here, just like on a dice. One in the middle here. And if you have trouble fitting them all inside that little circle, that's okay. I couldn't fit them all in there, so that's fine. There are five in each group. Five plus five equals ten. Draw an array for each set. Complete the sentences. The first one has been done has been drawn for you. So this is this is the first one here. And that's what they're talking about. So this, this one, they already drew the array of little circles. And uh, we still have to complete the sentence for this one. So two rows of six, right? So that's six plus six. And if you know that doubles fact, it's 12. That's it. Two rows of seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five six, seven. Remember, these are arrays. So we want them organized uh, so that we have rows and columns. So just be careful and take a, just a little bit of time to make it look right. Two rows of seven, that's seven plus seven. If you know that doubles fact, a lot of second graders don't. Seven doubled is 14. And all that reminds me, I have to go back here to A. I forgot to write this this guy right here. I forgot to write that answer in. So 6 doubled is 12. Okay. Two rows of 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Try to make them evenly spaced if you can. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Two rows of eight. You can count them all, but if you know what eight plus eight is, 16. Eight doubled is 16. Now we have two rows of nine, right? Because I'm on this guy right here. Two rows of nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, two rows of nine, 18, nine plus nine is 18, and nine doubled is 18. And if I'm going too fast with drawing them and writing in the number sentences, just pause the video. Pause the video and do a couple of them ahead of me and then watch the video to see if you did them right, or just pause the video and catch up and then keep watching. No one will know. Two rows of ten. And I like and I kind of do this maybe a little quicker. I'm not waiting for people to keep up with me because I know it's a video and I know you can pause it. And I also know nobody wants to watch math homework for a half an hour. So 
two rows of 10. So I'm just going to write two rows of 10. That's going to be two tens. That's 20. Well, I'm going to draw it. And then look, they give you, at least this time, you get lots of space here to draw your two rows of 10. Be careful not to try to draw two rows of 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten plus ten is twenty, so ten doubled is twenty. List the totals from problem one. So problem one, right, see this is problem three. And this was problem two. So problem one is back on the first page. That's this one. So the totals are here. Four, eight, two, six, and ten. Hopefully you have one-sided pages. They're not front and back. So you can look at both of them at the same time. But if not, you're trying to save paper, 4, 8, 2, 6, 10. You can just go back and forth, 4, 8, 2, 6, 10. List the totals from problem 2. So those totals are going to be 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. Are the numbers you have listed even or not even? Oh, they're definitely even because they're all doubles, right? Explain in what ways the numbers are the same and different. Well, the numbers are the same because they're all doubles, right? The numbers are all doubles. That's one way to put it, or they're all even. Either way. Uh, and how are they different? They're just different numbers, aren't they? They're all doubles and... different amounts or different numbers.